Learning Exchange. My name is Hilda Turekchen, and I have the pleasure of introducing today's presentation, Discreditization, Simulation, and Swanson's Inaccurate Mean. I would now like to introduce to you the speakers you will be hearing from today. Our featured speaker is Eric Bickel. Eric is an assistant professor, professor in both the Graduate Program for Operations Research and the Department of Petroleum and Geosystems Engineering at the University of Texas at Austin. His research and consulting practice are focused on decision analysis. He teaches graduate courses in decision analysis and applied probability. Prior to returning to academia, Eric was a senior engagement manager and co-director of client education at Strategic Decisions Group. He has consulted around the world in the areas of oil and gas, electricity, life sciences, financial services, chemicals, metals, and packaging. Eric is a fellow of the Society of Decision Professionals and a board member. Eric's today's topic is another in the Society of Decisions Professionals Best of DAC 2011 series of technical presentations. Eric, I welcome you to today's learning exchange. Thank you. Thank you, Hilda, and good morning again to everybody that's joining online. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedules. We are also pleased to welcome Frank Cook. Frank is a fellow in the Society of Decisions Professionals. He is the Vice President of STP and the Chair of the Membership Development Council. Frank, welcome again to today's Learning Exchange. Thank you. Fra Frank will be moderating today's presentation and fielding your questions to Eric. And now, without any further delay, I'd like to turn today's presentation over to our featured speaker, Eric Bickel. Eric, you have the floor. Okay. Thank you, Hilda. What, what I'd like to talk about today is um, a technical issue, but I think is important for practice, and that is in most decision analyses, we are dealing with discrete uncertainties. If you think about a decision tree, um, we have to put in perhaps high, medium, and low for various uncertainties. Um, but some uncertainties are actually continuous and uh, could take on many values. And the question is, well, how should we or how can we best represent those um, in a tree? 